Greetings fellow engineers and welcome here on Tartarus Inc. This time on the third episode of my small trip gone large guide, we will focus on roughly setting up the interior and wiring everything up we need. Also I want to install the first moving part, the back ramp. But before we start, be sure to check out the prior episodes of this guide if you haven't done until now. Links are in the description. Now, some of you might ask themselves now, why the heck I am focusing on the interior now, even though we haven't really done anything on the exterior. Well, the reason for that is simple. If we do the interior first, you can wrap the exterior nicely around it and calculate the size and space needed for the ship more easily. So, on this ship I only want to have an oxygen system and a storage compartment for weapons and stuff. Speaking of cargo. The first thing we will do today is placing a connector and the basic conveyor layout that we can use later on to connect everything nicely. I decided to have a centralized double system, because you can arrange those nicely when adding detail to them and to have a system spare in case one of the lines break. Now that we have those done, we set up our oxygen system, which contains of an oxygen generator, one or two storage tanks and of course one or multiple vents. Connecting everything to the main conveyor hub and this is done. For the storage, I always like to keep those disconnected from the conveyor system, but that is a matter of taste. So we have three crew members, that means we need three small cargo containers. Also a sloped LCD per container to put the name of the crew member on it. Now close everything up and this is done. Now for the last part of today, the back ramp. For this I load in a blueprint, which is the line of hinges. I also uploaded this one to the workshop some time ago, links for this is in the description. Cutting those into the desired segments can be a little tricky, so I recommend attaching some landing gears and locking them to a solid surface before making the cut. If it doesn't work for the first time, try to disable the torque on the blueprint or stuff like that. Anyways, I want the ramp to be as small as possible, which in this case is 3 blocks wide. So cut off the 3 row segment and paste it onto the desired position. If you can't paste it there, delete the surrounding blocks. Now that we have pasted it onto the ship, go into the control panel of your ship, find the group, save it with another name and delete the original group. That makes reusing the hinge blueprint easier the next time. Ok, now let's set the values. The only important thing to consider is the torque. Don't crank it up to max, because if you do the hinge won't stop at the set maximum degree. Alright, now let's set the upper and lower limit. Try around a little bit, until the ramp is at a degree you like when it's opened or closed. On this build I have also placed a ramp piece on top of the entrance, to have a nice angle and back section when the ramp is closed. Also I have included the groups for the upper and lower ramp part into a timer block, set the groups to reverse and the timer block itself to trigger now. Alright, that's it for today. Next time we will focus on building the exterior and adding some more features to the ship, like hideable weapons and stuff. And if you like this video, don't forget to slap that like button hard and check out all the links in the description. I hope to see you all next time and as always, keep on engineering and cheers!